Not because you my man. And I've told I tell you this all the time. Not because you know what I'm saying with peoples, but no, you Kaz is put a disclaimer. <laughs> I gotta say that no, no, because I hear no. You got no. You gotta understand that a lot of people be coming at me like, yo, you just saying that because he's your boy. Nah, B, like, yo, you gotta break it down, like you know, logistically and scientifically at at a point. You understand what I'm saying? And and what I've always argued is the fact that Kaz to this day. Right. Super Outside of the weird. fact that you can you can make a lineage of influenced rappers and lyricists and their delivery and how it is that they that they project uh, their um, their their style of writing can all be traced down to cats. Un undeniable. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Cats to this day. God. I know I've been there. At you the understand show what I'm saying? You play this and it's song not, and it's day. and like, it's different. Be like, it's, these it's songs different. Not on the radio is different than one might expect. So shout out to Mel, love you, Mel. Mm -hmm. So that leads into the question of why didn't I called you? <laughs> he I called, called you. You, know what I'm you understand? I what I'm called saying? you like what the <laughs> cat? Let him do this. All right. First of all, <laughs> so, so, and we're gonna talk about it yeah, with Mel. I just want to make it clear. Mm -hmm. Mel is my tag team partner. You know what I mean? Like you remember wrestling? You remember Hawk? And <laughs> <laughs> Hawk and Adam, my nigga. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just by decree. And uh, I, he didn't consult with me as far as the Eminem thing. I didn't really ask him too much. He didn't really never take it that serious. He was like, I'll bust his, I'll bust Eminem ass, you know what I mean, <laughs> or whatever. And I'm like, okay, and you're supposed to believe that. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as um, him answering, actually doing the answer, I didn't know he was going to respond to it. First of all, M was responding to him mm -hmm. because he had put it out first, you know, about right, right, right. M and Jay-Z and shit like that. People was like, yo, yo, chill, chill. And then I'm like, fuck, chill what? Nigga, that's my opinion. And everybody else out here giving their opinion on okay. shit, saying whatever they want to say. How the fuck you going to tell Melly Mel he can't say what he want to say? Mm -hmm. that, that's I backed him up on that. Right, right. Now, as far as the response, <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have hollered at you. <laughs> or ran it by me. Yeah. Not that I'm the definitive guy because I respect Melly Mel. No, for sure. Mm -hmm. for sure. Lyrically, for sure. Lyrically, for sure. he's the only person I ever thought I had to be better than. Mm -hmm. Everybody else, I, I, I thought I was better than. Okay, but he was the only person back then. I've always respected him for that. So I, far be it from me to tell Mel, yo, let me, let me, you know, fuck nah, out I, of it. Nah, I don't think, I don't think I that would have even happened. But, but. I, like I said, I didn't get the opportunity to see what he was going to do. It just came out. So, and, and, he, and even if I heard it, I, I couldn't say, nah, I don't, nah, that's whack. Or don't, yeah, I probably would have. <laughs> 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 no, no, I, I would have had to say, because yeah. that's my dude. Yeah, that's I'm like, right, right. Nah, if you're going to go at this nigga, him. go at this nigga, man. Don't, don't do that. Go. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, because Mel, if he, I have no doubt that if he took his time and it, it, that, exactly. that he would come up with some shit that nigga yeah. like, Oh shit! Yeah. That nigga Melvin, but he, I don't know. He just did something real quick and put that shit out there, and it did not. It wasn't flattering to him. Even he like had to take that shit back and said he jumped out too fast and tried to do something too fast. But that wasn't a. You don't respond to Eminem like that. Well, yeah, absolutely you know what I mean? not. Especially if you're saying that you gonna bust his ass. <laughs> 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 Me, I. Uh, it would have been different. Mm -hmm. It would have been different not to say I would have bust his ass, but mm -hmm. nigga, I would have went as hard as I could if I, as I could possibly go to get right. that nigga. And right. then if he got me after that, I'm, yo, you got it, right, right. you got it. But I already, I already respect Eminem as a lyricist, um, where I would, I wouldn't even question mm -hmm. him being nice or whether I'm better than him or not. It don't matter to me whether I'm better. It's a lot of niggas that that's better than me. You know, to, on, on whatever level or in certain things or whatever, you better be better than me, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I drew you a blueprint. Yeah, mm. no doubt. How the fuck you not better than me? You didn't hear. You've been hearing me ever since you started this. Shit. You've been hearing everybody that I influenced. Everybody ever since this shit started. You've heard thousands 
are rappers and rap songs. Right. You better be better than me, motherfucker. Right. right. I'm about to be 64 years old, and if I get on this mic and bust your ass, you need your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you need your ass. Whooped. Yeah, no doubt. Now, hip hop from my generation, I think all the way to now, has always been known as a blood sport. I have never, with, it, was there an apology, you know, for Jack the Ripper? Was there an apology for The Bridge is Over? Nope. Was there an apology for Hit Him Up? You know what I'm saying? Was nope. there, told, it baffled me. And it baffled my uh, queen as well. Why did Mel issue an apology to him? I think the apology was for the weak shit that he did, not for going at him. Mm. I think the apology for is the way he came back at him with that response. That's what I think he was apologizing for. Not for his opinion on Eminem. I think his opinion on Eminem is stays the same. Mm -hmm. It's never changed. I think that he really believes that that M is touted the way he is because he is a white rapper, and that makes him even a, more accomplished at a black thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, which which hip hop is you know proposed to be. Um, I, I've always just accepted him as a dope ass fucking lyricist. His flows, his you know what I mean. If you can do something that I can't do, nigga, I applaud you. Right. Uh, something I wish I could do or tried and couldn't do. Nah, I don't. Nah, I don't nah, think you got it, nigga. <laughs> I don't sense. think anybody. I don't think anybody takes any anything away from M as far as like his lyrical ability, super and his lyricist. skill, super lyricist, dope, mm -hmm. dope artist. Um, but I'm going to to go on the limb and, and agree with Mel in regards to like his position within the business part of the culture. Not the culture, in the business part of the music. What, what did he say about that? No, he said basically, um, you know, you have you have a thousand other MCs that are just as good. Yes. But they don't. But they're not recognized because because yes. they obviously blend in to right to the landscape. Right. right. And yeah, and it's a bigger deal. It's like any any time, and, and come on. We we all been around long enough to see this. Anytime there's a black entity, whether it be music, it's entertainment, whatever, movie star, whatever, they have to come out with a white counterpart. Okay, and they, they choose it the time strategically to, to come out with somebody that okay, the white hope, the white person that can do this and elevate. And it's happened since the fucking Beatles and all that other shit. Um, when Jane Brown came out, uh, I mean, when Lil Richard came out, fucking Jerry Lee Lewis and came we, out after that. When the Jackson Five came out, motherfucking Osmond brought The Osmond, right, right, that. right. When Run DMC came out, the motherfucking BC Boys came out. Exactly. After that. And most of the time, they eclipsed the original artists that they came to counterpart. So I think for 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 hip hop, Eminem was right on time to be that right guy that MC Search couldn't do that shit. Right. Okay. And it searches dope. He's he's dope, yeah. but he just fit into right. the fabric. Right. You know what I mean, and especially you know Eminem look too white. They called him a wigger because he was doing black things, but he right. looked like a white person. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Search this nigga got jewelry on. He got mm -hmm. haircut like black people and shit like that. White people don't want him, even though he's white. Like, yeah, mm, that's I mean, a good point. Mm -hmm. I, never saw, I never saw this it. nigga right here is a quintessential white hope for rap right here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And all he got to do is be good. All right, he just excelled and was more than good. And he and, just so happened to be his, that good. Dues. And he just to be clear, he just so happened to be that good. Right, that good. And he paid his dues in, in, in you know, hip hop. He didn't just like, he ain't no industry plant. You know what I mean, this nigga come from the street. He come from Detroit. He come from the niggas, the, the circle of niggas who did this shit, the street, mixtapes, all that shit. He paid his dues. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm I, I, I'm not mad at him, but Mel should have thought that shit out a little more before he came at him, you know, like that. And I'm sure he would have fared better. Sure, he would have fared better. I'm talking about lyrically. Lyrically, yes. yes. Of course. Mel's way better than the shit you oh, yeah. heard of. I already know. Fair. 
I already know. Yeah. If you saw K Slade 50, you know. Oh, yeah. 50, 50. Yeah, he came off on that. 110. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the 200. Bell just rocked the fuck out on all that shit, so. With um, the narrative of hip hop going the way it's going now, and you being like one of the founders that have to, you know, lay it down. And I want to talk about that, about, you know, what you were saying earlier about the museum. But this is something that we have to think about, and I want to know your opinion. So how is going now, the way the narrative going, in the next 50 years, he's going to be considered Mount Rushmore, the, the, or, you know. The, Ooh, Eminem? Yeah. I've always said that if we don't document our culture, ourselves, yeah. that 100 years down the line, you're going to look on the cover of a magazine or something like that or, and see a picture of Eminem when they say hip-hop. Yeah. Or a statue or something. Yeah. Or building. <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and I said that, you know, being facetious, but then again, like, yo, if we don't act years. like we was here, 50 years. they will take all this shit and make it look like so, a white person was responsible for it. 50 you know years. what right, I mean? Right, right. And so, yeah, I, I, I agree with that assessment, but I don't think that's Eminem's, you know, fault or, or that's what he's trying to do. I just think that, you know, the powers that be. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, they, they want to erase any history of us being self-empowered, mm. um, any history of us, you know, doing for ourselves, being creators. Um, look how much shit has been swept under the rug about things we've done. Because the less we educate the next generation about how great we were, the less great they'll aspire to be. Right. All right, if they don't realize how great their father, grandfather, great grandfather was, and great grandmothers, and, and people who invented shit, did shit, if we knew all that shit, I mean, I learned more from fucking KRS song, You Must Learn, than, you know, no, yeah, 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 a lot sure. of fucking years of school. And, sure. and I, I'm being facetious with that as well because I went to Catholic school. I knew, I knew all that. <laughs> yeah, of course. And more because I got taught at home. Yeah. You know, my sister was very Afrocentric. And uh, I knew all about the Panthers and, yeah, you know I mean, how Nixon wasn't shit. And it's all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know, that's, that's good right but, there. But, yeah, those early lessons follow us later on in life. And hopefully, you know, we grow into, you know, a kind of consciousness mm -hmm. that mixes, you know, all that together. Take the best of what you've learned. You know what I mean? And process it and just just live out your life. But I mean, we, we, we still learn. I'm still learning to this day. Yeah.